matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Brad Tavares. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Representing Auckland, New Zealand, here is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. He comes to the octagon with a whole lot of kickboxing experience and success, and largely that is translated in the big show. He could have come to the UFC several years ago. He wanted to make sure that he was ready, and the early returns are that he is most definitely ready. The takedown defense has been tested early on in his UFC career. Largely, it is held up. Let's see if Israel Adesanya can excite the masses yet again tonight. This guy has tough that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We set it inside the octagon here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Brad Tavares! And now we can see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender of the side. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get you after ready? it. You ready? Here we go. Well, Israel Adesanya, as hot a prospect as has crossed into the UFC in years, he is known as an outstanding kickboxer. And as such, a lot of his UFC opponents are going to try to take him down as his past victims will hit him. Yeah. Vicious punch combinations here. Posture's up here, and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Adesanya. Back to the feet. Tavares gets touched by that kick. Oh! oh, oh. He tagged him. He tagged him. He's hurt back. He's got hurt here. Head kick! And again, head kick. A 
Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Check it out again. And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel Velasco Bender he is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and he gets another UFC win here tonight. And he has really been critical of his past performances inside the octagon, but a whole lot to like out of this effort here tonight. Going to be interesting to hear how Adesanya felt about what he was able to accomplish inside this arena tonight.